All right, PRSS2 just got the best and the biggest refresh in their whole lineup ever. Let's talk about it. I'm going to lance this thing now. We break it down, baby. <laughs> If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love my PRS SE. And even though it's not stuck because I changed the pickups to get the USA pickups in it, it's still an SE and I can attest to how great those guitars are. But ever since I got that one, I always had like that bug like I feel like the S2 has to be much better. But honestly, I feel like at this day and age, like everybody in like in Indonesia and like China and Japan, whatever, everywhere in the world, people can make great guitars and i feel like definitely owning this prs sc was kind of like the thing that tipped me in that direction because even though mexican fenders and charvels and all that kind of stuff is like really really great quality instruments so far in my journey i've had an issue with every single one of those guitars and it wasn't until i got my prs sc that i actually didn't have any issues even my gibson that is like at least twice as much i have some issues like for example, I know for a fact that the nut wasn't like cut perfectly. I feel like it was cut a little bit too low on the high E. And then of course, the horrible incident of my whole freaking inlay just like popping out of the fretboard, which is kind of crazy. That like has never happened in any other guitars for me. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen any other of my friends' guitars with that kind of issue. But then I went online and it turns out like it's like a sort of like a common thing in Gibson. So I was like, wow. I can't believe that PRS, for so little money, give you such a great quality guitar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big disclaimer. It's not little money. I was just thinking that, you know, there's some SEs, for example, like the new CE24 on the satin finish, the standard, I guess it's called. That thing is like $4.99. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a, I'm, I'm telling you, that's a great guitar because those are great pickups, great craftsmanship. I haven't gotten one in the studio, but some of the people that I trust the most, I've, they're saying pretty much the same things that everybody says about PRS SC. And they're saying, if you own already a PRS SC and you're happy with it, you kind of can expect the same thing with the PRS SC C24. But whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I was just trying to give you a little bit of context to let you know that I love PRS, that I love the SEs, and that I've always wanted to have an S2. But what has been the big issue? If it's not going to be any better than the version that I can import, they just because it was made by American hands, I guess, and American tools or whatever. So for me, my friend, I think PRS S2 finally did the right thing. Okay, boom, here we are at the PRS website, and you can see right here PRS SC series made in the USA. I love that. Love to see it. Let's click on it. Boom. Made in the US. Ooh, I, I like it. They have a little video. Nice. That's my favorite thing that they're doing the pickups in the PRS factory. Because honestly, in my opinion, the USA pickups for me and what I value in pickups, they're superior. Like there's no doubt about it in my mind. You might like the other ones and that's okay, but these are better in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section if you've tried like the difference between the SCs and the American pickups and what do you think about them? All right, but let's stop talking about all that stuff and let's check it out. Okay, so that's like the big thing, right? Like the guitars are made in America and now they're getting American pickups and electronics. Let's see really quick. Yeah, correct. Now with more PRS DNA than ever, the S2 series proudly comes with USA made pickups and electronics. Love that. Let's see these cute little pictures. Ooh, I wish they would do the perloid material on the birds. I feel like it looks a lot better than just like the simple white ones. Although, I mean, they look okay, but I prefer the perloid. Let me know what you prefer. Right, so nice. That's perfection. Let's go next. Very nice. Wait, what are these round bobbins? Well, whatever. I guess we'll figure it out. Beautiful. Oh, maybe the covered pickups, right? <laughs> it makes sense. Only the 8515s are like squared. I love this, that they're showing you the whole process in these pictures. So I guess they do four guitars at a time to do the inlay setting. And I guess that's how they get the price down a little bit. Okay, I think we saw all these. Now let's see, do you guys want to check this out? Let's check it out. Where is the S2 series made? It's in Stevensville, blah, blah, blah. We know that. How are the pickups and electronics different in 2024? Let's see, all guitars. Now, let's go to La Pièce de Résistance, the guitars themselves, S2 Custom 24, and the core. All right, let's see the differences. I hope I can get it on the screen. Oh, I can't. But let's see here. What's the bigger difference? Oh, wow, the top carb is different in all of them. That's cool. I feel like this, like, asymmetric bevel that they're calling sort of, like, reminds me of, like, the same bevel that Kiesel used. 
this is really cool okay the scarf thing this is one piece is there blah 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 makes sense pattern thin oh wow so it's the same basically shape as the as the core that's a nice difference to see birds are blah 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 old school birds but acrylic signature deco Rilla. high gloss tremolo okay so this is the same with the SE the old tuners right and I don't know if you've ever seen one of my videos like talking about the SE and I said this same thing when PRS sends you an SE guitar with nines I feel like they're doing themselves at the service and if you see they send the cores and the S2s with tens which makes sense because that is what they would like to represent in their American factory and I think that's the best way to present their guitars actually but now that we checked the custom 24s let's go check the whole lineup and see what's up okay so let's see we have the custom 24 the 2408 which I'm very excited about and then we have the McCarty's very nice I'm glad that they're doing these three different ones and then they have the standard lineup wow there's a lot of guitars standard 22 24 vela vela satin vela semi hollow vela semi hollow satin standard 22 and 24 and then the mccarthy thin line wow sorry mccarthy thin line that's nice so they do have basically i want to say that these are all like more budget than these these are like their premium yeah because they're like the custom ones and here is all satin savings great wow that's a lot of guitars that they just dropped huh very cool all right let's check the 2408 just so that we can check the cool pictures and stuff nice yeah that bevel looks so good it just looks like the kiesel to me in my head nice look at the frets they look taller in my head than the regular PRS frets. The SE is what I'm talking about, right? Every time I say regular, I'm talking about the SE because I feel like that's like the most widely used because they're cheaper, right? But nice. I like this. I wish they had a little bit of carve for the buttons. That would just make it feel like that bit more premium, but I'm not complaining. I'm liking this. <laughs> Go to the next picture. And you know, for somebody like me that already owns a 2408, I feel like it's kind of nice that they have the TCI pickups because now it's like, I cannot say, oh, it's the same guitar, 2408. It's absolutely a totally different guitar because they changed the most important thing, right? The pickups. Let's keep going. I really like this. Oh, nice. Look how nice the owl looks. I want to say that in my guitar, the owl looks like almost like a blob. Let me see. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but trust me when I say that the ears are not anywhere as pokey as those, but very nice. I'm really excited about this 2408. It looks incredible to me. This is exactly what I want from this guitar. Okay, very cool. I would say that this is the biggest change is just those pickups. That's all they changed. And I love it. Let's check this out. Low mass tuners. I feel like these are just like the old ones that they used to have on the cores, which is cool. This looks like pretty much the exact same one that they have on the SEs with the saddles those saddles look exactly like the sc i wonder beautiful pickups nice we read all this and then pattern thin i'm excited to try this because the prs right here has a white thin and honestly i don't feel like it's my favorite neck even though it's like very comfortable and it's like very easy to play and all and i know it's not like a thickness of the neck kind of thing because i i really enjoy all of them it's more like uh the way that my the tip of my fingers fit between the strings i feel like in prs i sort of like run out of space a little bit so i have to have a little bit more finesse when i'm actually putting my fingers to make chords but when for example i'm in my gibson i feel like i can be a little bit more sloppy which doesn't make me sound any better or make me play any easier but i thought i would just say that <laughs> let's see if they put all the colors here they usually have them at the bottom Ooh, there we go diagram of the controllers i'm pretty used to this it's just like humbucker middle and humbucker and then you can split at your heart's content <laughs> and here we are colors black amber i like that faded gray black burst i don't know i feel like a prs needs to have a like more like a bombastic color but that's cool and then this faded glide black blue burst <laughs> that's pretty nice i like that 
The charcoal color is like very cool and I like how it adds like depth to the flames. PRS really knows how to make a guitar look fancy. <laughs> Even in the SE, the SEs look great. Okay, that's phenomenal, the purple. I, I really I really like these two more than I originally thought. Which one's your pick? Let me know in the comment section which one you like the best, the purple or the blue. And while you're there, remember to like, subscribe, and do all those cool little things that we like to do on YouTube. And enjoy this little bossa nova, my friend. I hope your day keeps getting better and better. All right, let's keep going. Okay, let's go to this fire red burst. Love that color. It's like very sexy, but I don't know, like when I go to like buy a guitar, that's never on my radar. I don't know why. <laughs> when I see it in a picture, I love it though. And then this one, Lake Blue. Very nice. All right, let's go back here and let's check the McCarty. I feel like in my case, if I were to buy one of these, it would be a McCarty. Just because I really want one of these and I want one of these single cut. <laughs> so let's go check it out. Yeah. There's something about it. I just really like the McCarty's. And I am really, really tempted to try this 5815s. Something tells me that that is really my kind of pickup. I haven't tried it, but something tells me it is because I've heard like it's got so much clarity and so much spank, but it's still a humbucker. So I don't know. I'm really, really, really curious about that one. Very nice. Love it. Recreating vintage. Let's go. Let's see. This is like the same one. I feel they're using the same one on these that they're using in the core. Yeah, look, the tuners are the same too. The vintage ones. That's nice. And then this one has the pattern vintage neck. I've heard that that's a lot thicker. And if you have one, let me know in the comment section. And if you have both, like the S, like the 2408 M1 594, let me know how different they are. But whatever, let's keep going. Full bone binding. Nice on the fretwork. That's crazy. All right. And this is basically like a 2408. You have like old positions, all eight sounds. Let's go to my favorite part. The colors. Black amber. That is like very, very Gibson in my opinion, right? Like very vintage. Oh. Wow, that dark cherry burst looks great on this McCarty. It's got like a 58 kind of vibe, right? Like a Gibson Les Paul 58. Oh, honey gold burst. This is my favorite. 100%. 100%. Maybe not 100%. <laughs> but you know, I really like like that dirty lemon kind of color and the Gibson Les Pauls. So this, of course, uh, makes sense that I'm going to like it. But then let's see this one. Man, I'm really liking this color. It looks so PRS to me. Very cool. Then again, the sexy fire red burst. And Lake Blue. Let me know which is your favorite, my friend. Just for fun, let's go check out the double cut. Yeah, when I see this on double cut, this honestly, this looks like a Kiesel to me. And even like that color, it's like a very Kiesel kind of color, which I love. I really love the way those Kiesel guitars look. I never had one, <laughs> never heard one in like the studio or like try it or anything like that. And those Beryllium pickups kind of like make me feel a little bit uneasy just because I don't know. And I have fear of the unknown, I guess. And the fact that a lot of people like in metal use them and I'm not like a kind of like a high output pickup kind of guy. I like the, like the vintage kind of tones, but whatever. Let's keep moving. This is just a beautiful guitar. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's see how the colors look different on this one. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. That honey gold burst, it, it doesn't hit the same when I see it in the double cut. Not at all. But very cool. And then, of course, the difference between the thin line is that they don't put the maple top on it, right? Like, all together. They just don't put it on it. So I would say that this would be like their SG kind of, right? Very cool. Very cool. Let's see the colors. I've never seen the colors. Wait, and let's just check and see that everything else is the same. Oh, the neck shape is different. Let's see. 
See, here we're looking at the pattern vintage and here we're looking at the pattern thin. So those two things change when you go to the thin line. And when I said it out loud, it just makes sense. Of course, they're going to give you the pattern thin on the thin line, right? Again, similar like what they do in SG, like the super slim taper necks, right? Let's go to see the colors. I want to see the... Ooh. Ooh. BRS is too. You're looking sexy in that antique white. Nice. Sexy in black too. Wow. Yeah, I guess I don't like the way the mahogany looks. Even though this one has like very nice looking grain. It's not my cup of tea, my friend. Space blue. I wonder if it's like a metallic or something. Why are they calling it space? And then vintage cherry, like super classic. I feel like this space blue may or may not be great. <laughs> but this white one totally boom. Rock my socks out. Very cool. Very cool. And this looks like so understated. Nice. Okay, let's check what else we have. Wow, this is just so crazy. I'm not gonna check all these. Because I feel like they, look, not only they have like different finishes and everything, they have like different pickups too. So, okay, let's just see this. Let me just check a custom 20, a standard 24. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. PRS, PRS, my friend, you're doing me dirty over here. Wow, these guys are geniuses. Wow. You know why I'm saying this? PRS just made it that there's basically no repeated guitars. So if you get the Core Custom 24, it's not the same as if you were get the S2 on the standard version. That is crazy. Wait, so this might be the cheapest way to get onto the 5815s. Let me make sure. Yeah. And a tremolo. Wow, this is crazy. They are blowing my mind today. I can't believe they did this. Wow, it's like having a custom 24 with the electronics of a 594, but with the great pickup switching of the custom 24. Wow, man, they went for it. Ooh, they're doing see-through charcoal. I like that. Antique white looks like it's a flat color. Oh, no, 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 no. I see the grain. Nice. Wow. They got me with that. They got me with that. Let me go check Streetwater really quick. Okay. Here it is. 1700 bucks. So there you go. Strat pricing for a PRS. <laughs> that's kind of cool i mean i feel like if you're getting american guitars and you buy a strat for your single coil needs and then you get this it's not a big damage it's not i mean take everything that i'm saying about economics with a grain of salt because i know that in the world right now things are happening and everything and it's man these prices are incredibly high but the problem is that these companies are making way 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 more expensive stuff so this makes it look like affordable so if you see my train of thought here it's like a prs american made with american electronics like american through and through at the same price of an american stratocaster or, or a telecaster for that matter that to me is pretty impressive i feel like prs is making a big dent in the market wow especially because you know i have a couple strats i have three strats and i've been thinking i kind of want another like humbucker guitar just because i want to have another downtuned guitar and that kind of stuff and Oh, PRS is making it happen. Wow, that's pretty impressive that for 1700 bucks, you're getting these guitars. I was not expecting that. I was not. Let's see. Okay, so that was the standard 24. Let's see the standard 22. Man, I thought I was just going to breeze through these and look. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, I can't believe this. That is such a nice thing that they just did. This is incredible. I, I, I mean, you know, I don't know if you follow me, but you know, when I see these kind of things, it's like, I'm not fanboying on PRS just to fanboy on them. Like, if you think about it, they're really doing smart decisions that definitely are in pro of the consumer that they're going to benefit them the best way. 
PRS is, I think, like right now, the one that's managing like the budgets in the best way possible. Because if you see right now what happened in the market, right? All the guitars all of a sudden, super expensive. And now everybody's giving discounts. When all the guitars were expensive, PRS was giving you all the SEs for like the cheapest price they've ever had. So that's what I'm saying. They are doing things differently. And instead of like throwing these guitars for 2000 and then drop 400 bucks just to try to taste the market and see if they actually pay this kind of money for the guitars. They're just giving it to you at the lowest price that they can. Straight up, buy it if you can, and we're done. For me, that's great. Because I can get into one of these guitars with everything that I need for a relatively okay price. You know, that that's pretty great. I have to say it. I feel like in the internet, we love to talk negatively about stuff. But when something is good, we don't say it. And I like to be the guy that says when something is good, I say it is good. This to me is good. Would I want them to be cheaper? Yes, but that would not be realistic. <laughs> that This is what the market is doing. This is what we have. And I'm pretty impressed. Wow. Can't believe that you can get to the 50A15s LTs at these kind of prices. Look, and of course they have like the one that is not see-through. In that satin. This is crazy. I just... I'm impressed. Much more impressed than I thought I was be. I was like, oh, I've seen all these videos. I already know what they're talking about. Nobody's said all these things. This, I feel like, had to be front and center. I wish I would have done this at the top of the video because at this point, most people just tuned out. But if you're still here, my friend, let me know that you're still here in the comment section and say, still here. <laughs> all right, my friend, let's keep going. I feel like that was it. Let me just check the last thing, which would be, this is two Velas. I want to see what those pickups are called. And look, they have like that little telly bridge. Looks pretty great. Oh, is this like the metal pickup or the HFS? I don't know. That looks like a Dirty Fingers or something. It's funny, all the Gibson references that I'm using, right? Like everybody knows Gibson. <laughs> That's what I think, that everybody knows Gibson. I guess. In my subconscious. <laughs> all right. Beautiful. Again, only two freaking pictures. Let's go here. Okay, very nice. And then the same colors. I like this. This is not bad. Okay, sorry, well, what I really wanted to know was the pickups. <laughs> okay, we have a DS1. Okay, got it. In a narrow field. What is that DS1? I never seen it. Very cool. And with that, my friend, let's go get a couple conclusions. I was excited at the beginning of this video, but I am way more excited now, and I am like absolutely gassed out as soon as i realized that i can get into one of those like 58 15s lts for like 1700 bucks i don't know but that's a really nice proposition in my world in my head in my mind that is not a terrible price mostly because like i told you earlier i feel like the thing that matters the most is the pickups and prs knows pickups and this guitar is american made with all the whatever juju it might have that it's better for the same price as a strat I don't think that I can complain too much about that because if you think about it, right now we're in the era that all imported guitars, and I say imported guitars for all my American friends, I know that I, there's people from Europe and all over the world in my channel, these are guitars at the price of import guitars. Epiphone is at this price, Schecter is at this price, Reverend is at this price, Yamaha is at this price, like literally I feel like this is the competitive price point and this is that even Gibson is trying to get into this price point because it seems to me like this is the price point with the most variety of guitars and I'm happy to see that PRS is putting their best foot forward with what might end up becoming the best selling guitar that they've ever made. I don't know but at this point I'm pretty sure that you are absolutely bored from listening to me rambling about this guitar so if you want to see me in my early days of YouTube making a video about me when I'm changing the pickups in my PRS SE <laughs> Go check it out right here, my friend. And I hope you have a little bit of a laugh at least. Right. Good to see you.